So welcome to our Sleeping Systems video, part of our wider kit series of videos from Seek to Compass. Now, when talking about any sort of kit and equipment, it's really subjective. Everyone's got their own opinion. We're just trying to give you some basic level of knowledge for when you go out there and prepare for our expedition. So firstly, we're just going to talk about sleeping bag liners. Sleeping bag liners can be really useful in places like the jungle, where it's really warm, or in some African bush environments. We've got two versions here. We've got a Cool Max liner, which is very, very thin material, stretchy, and is particularly comfortable sort of next to the skin. We've also got a cotton liner here as well, a little bit cheaper, a little bit easier to use. Both absolutely ideal. Sleeping bag liners can also be used within a sleeping bag itself, either to increase the, the warmth or the rating of the sleeping bag, or if it's a sleeping bag that's been used by other people for hygiene purposes. So moving on to sleeping bags. We've got two examples here. We've got a warm weather sleeping bag and also a, a cold weather sleeping bag. One thing to note is that people sleep in, in different ways and, and everyone has their own sort of temperature that they sleep at. Some people are cold sleepers, some people are warm sleepers. So a sleeping bag that may work for one person in one environment may not work for another person. Now, you, you traditionally have uh, a number of different rating systems for sleeping bags. You've got one season, two season, three season. Um, we like to concentrate on what the manufacturers tend to use nowadays, which is a comfort transition and a risk rating. This is shown really well here on this um, North Face bag. You've got the comfort down to minus four, a transition down to minus 10. So that means between minus four and minus 10 is a period where you may be slightly uncomfortable. And then you've got risk down to 20, minus 29. That basically means you will survive if you sleep between minus 10 and minus 29, but you may be a tad uncomfortable. So two main materials that sleeping bags are made out of is either down or synthetic material. The great advantage to the down is that its warmth to weight ratio is fantastic. It compresses down into a sort of smaller ball, okay, and it's lighter. The key disadvantage with down is that it, when it gets wet, it loses its thermal properties. Synthetic material maintains its, some thermal properties when it's wet. Um, it's cheaper, which is its biggest advantage. However, it can, it's slightly heavier, slightly bulkier, and doesn't offer quite as good thermal properties as down. So finally, sleeping mats. Now, the key purpose of a sleeping mat is insulation, not comfort. However, we've got two examples here from Thermos, which are particularly comfortable. We've got the Neo Air, incredibly lightweight, um, provides a really good air insulating layer, uh, and it packs down to a particularly small size, and a more traditional Thermarest option here. The other options that you can use are a traditional foam mat, which also provide great insulation, um, a lightweight, uh, and are considerably cheaper than the Thermarest. In parts of Africa or areas where you're likely to be camping under thorn scrub, um, Thermarest can puncture really very easily, and so a foam mat may be preferable.